I had no background in drones whatsoever. I just uh, I went into an electronics shop in Toronto to buy a juicer, and I saw this drone toy. This was like, I don't know, seven or eight years ago. So I bought it instead of the juicer. Ended up to be the best investment I ever made. There is a definite advantage hiring an engineer that has a background in the Army, and almost everybody in Israel goes to the Army. You know the person is responsible, you know they're independent, they can work in a team. Those are the things that you look for in a person, and we get those things for free. So this is our basically our R&D facility. All the engineers are set up here, different departments, mechanics, electronics, software. They're building drones, basically. That's what we're doing. Everything needs to come together here from the body and the PCB and all the engines and the electronic speed controllers. We saw that there was a big gap that could be fulfilled and you know, maximizing the potential from these aircrafts if we took it in and made it out into a tool where this thing actually does work. One of our big projects was a giant oil spill in Israel. Very quickly, we were the ones managing the entire operation because we could fly nonstop. And we just took regular pictures of the area and send it to everybody's phone and the surveyors in the field would walk around with this fresh aerial of what's going on and they could better manage what was going on. It was a good example of how drones are used for good things and not bad. Our vision was to create a box that sits somewhere and you know, can launch and land missions by itself, not just in security or mapping or emergency response, but everything combined. The docking station serves several purposes. It protects the drone from the outside environment, whether it's really hot, really cold, or it's dusty, or it's corroded, or it's raining. Second is replacing the batteries, and also the sensors, thus creating different applications that can be used in different scenarios. If you're flying on a mission and you're running security with a video camera and then you want to switch and go to do mapping, the drone lands itself in the docking station and then you have the sensor replaced and then you have a different tool. Turning it from a toy to a tool, there's a lot of technology involved and most of the components in the market today are not fitted for, for an aircraft that does real work. But everybody's an engineer in Israel. I mean, we don't really have anything else to do here. If you're in the desert, we don't have a lot of natural resources, so that's our resource, innovation. That kind of came the mentality, just like you have mining cities in Australia, fabrication cities in China. We are a startup nation, that's what we are. 